Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet an edging on blanket fabric. It does help if you know some basic sewing techniques as well. For the sample you just saw, I'm using a 40 inch by 40 inch piece of fleece fabric. The only thing that I would suggest to make things easier is to take a plate and round out all four corners. This way, you'll be able to smoothly crochet around them. I'm using a smoother, silkier, thinner yarn from my stash, which is a DK weight yarn, and a size F 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Before we begin, we need to make a single crochet sample of our work. This will help us determine how far apart to sew each stitch, which will serve as kind of single crochet stitches along the blanket's edge. I'm using chenille needles for sewing on the fleece fabric. Now before we go any further, I should mention yarn isn't always easy to sew with. So if you are having some issues, use a matching embroidery floss for the sewing to the fabric part. And then we'll begin sewing. The first stitch will come from the back of the fabric to the front of the fabric. And you can see the distance I'm using from the edge of the fabric. And then one more time, make a stitch from the back of the fabric to the front. And then we reach over and push our sewing needle from left to right if you are right-handed and vice versa if left-handed. Then, keeping in mind our single crochet sample, we insert our needle the same width away as a single crochet and then wrap the thread around it and then pull the needle through. As you can see, this forms vertical stitches as well as a loop on the top. It's that loop along the top edge that we will later crochet into. And then we repeat the process. I make another stitch about the distance of a single crochet away. Lift the sewing needle up, wrap the thread around, and pull the needle through. At some point you'll probably find a need to insert a new floss or yarn because you use the other strand completely. Be sure to weave the old strand carefully in the back. You can knot a new strand and weave it in a bit along the back to secure the starting end. Then just catch the vertical bar of the old strand and continue on as if it was the same strand, making stitches the same width as your single crochet sample. You can see what this looks like. Before you get near the end, be sure your top loops are a multiple of four, including your last one, which I'll show you how to do. To end it, you'll just insert your sewing needle along the starting vertical stitch. Then turn over your work and weave in the ends as best as you can. To begin the crochet part, we're going to start by placing a slip knot on our hook and then insert your hook into any one of the top loops along the blanket and make a slip stitch to secure it. Now we're going to begin by doing a chain three. Then we do another double crochet and since this is a shell V pattern, we'll do a chain two next followed by two double crochet stitches all in the same space. You can see what it looks like. Now we'll skip three top loops along the edge. And in the next fourth loop, we'll make the shell V stitch, which consists of two double crochet stitches, a chain two, followed by two double crochet stitches, one and two. Then we skip three top loops along the edging. And in that fourth loop, we'll do our shell V stitch again. As before, it starts out with two double crochet stitches. Then we do a chain two. And then we do two double crochet stitches all in the same space. You can see what these shells look like at this time. Continue making this pattern all around the four sides and four rounded edges of your fabric. Once you get to the end of this first round of shell stitches, just slip stitch to the top of the initial chain three to connect everything together. We have to slip stitch over a bit. In this chain two space, we'll begin with the chain three and then a double crochet in the same space. Then we do a chain two next followed by two more double crochet stitches all in the same space. And then we move on to the center of the next shell stitch. 
Then we proceed into the next shell and do our same pattern again in this one. You can see what this looks like thus far. Continue around the entire four sides and four rounded corners with this pattern. Now it's up to you. You can continue with more rounds of the shell stitch or you can place a variation on the last round and we'll begin like we did before with the chain three. Then we make a double crochet stitch. Next, we make a chain three instead. And then to form a pico, we slip stitch into that first chain. Then we proceed with our two double crochet stitches, all in that same space. And two. I'll show this one again. In the middle of the next shell, we begin with two double crochet stitches. Then we chain three. Next, we slip stitch to the first chain. And then we proceed with making two more double crochet stitches all in that same space. The chain three pico simply took the place of the normal chain two. The edging looks nice on both the front side as well as the back. And that's how I crochet an edging on fabric for a blanket.